Uh, our, we started out with Kristen Vredebeld, and uh, she was she, she was the most important leg. She's a great she's a real up and comer in the in the swimming world. Uh, she, we knew she was going to be really fast at this meet. She went 22-4 in the individual race. So I'm a big believer in you know getting that getting that big time lead off leg on a relay and getting out in front, and that's what we did. Um, and I knew that if Kristen could uh, equal uh, or come close to what she did in the individual race, that we would have a chance at at, at uh, putting up a really really quick time. Uh, and I thought um, I was delighted to see her actually go uh, one one hundredth faster than she did in the individual race. Uh, so we were kind of rolling from there. Uh, second, second girl is a great story. She's uh, Ashley Yearwood. She's a junior. Um, had had. Uh, a tough year last year. Um, her first year at the school, adjusting to things, had some things to deal with. But uh, she grew up a ton this year. We really, she's a neat kid. She, we redefined how she swam. I told her, you know, you, she used to swim like 1972 when we wanted her to get her to swim like uh, 2011. And uh, she split 23-7, I believe. Uh, and our third leg was Emma Michaels, who was a senior. And Emma's first lap was pretty good, but boy, her second lap, she came off that wall and her legs were thumping. And I, I was nudging my coaches going, look at those legs, she's hauling. And uh, she split 23-4. And then um, uh, I, I've been real blessed to have Arden Pittman now for four years uh, on our team here at Baylor. And she, I never flinch. Arden goes last on every relay no matter what. Uh, because I know that uh, she's not going to let anybody catch her, and she will she will give it all for the team. She always has, and uh, she had a great split on the end of 23 flat. So uh, uh, it, it was nice. The relay starts were were fast, but not too fast, and uh, it was just a real fun event. She had a senior finish it out. She gets to see yes. that you you break the record. I imagine uh, plenty of uh, tears of joy there. It was. It was a really, emo it was a really emotional uh, meet because this is my fifth year now at Baylor, and I actually started working with uh, a couple of those kids on the re relay and on our team as eighth graders. So uh, we've, been, we've been through a lot together, and uh, we, we've, we've each grown up as the program's grown up, and it was, it was very – it was one of the more emotional swim meets I've been to in a long, long time. Tell me about the girl who led off again, 22-4. Yes, yes, that's uh, Kristen Vredeveld. She comes from a swimming family. Uh, I actually briefly swam with her father at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill way back in the day. Uh, her dad uh, is a teacher here, and he was actually the first guy to contact me um, about the, the position here at Baylor. Um, she has an uh, older brother, Nathan, who is a sophomore at um, the University of Virginia. He a, was a multi-time All-American for us uh, you know, swam at nationals this summer. Uh, very talented kid, and uh, also Kristen had an older cousin, Michael, who swam here uh, and was an All-American for us and a state champion in the 50 free a uh, couple years back. So uh, they come from a good swimming family, and she's Kristen's really done a good job of training this year. She's grown up a ton uh, developmentally, both swimming and personality-wise, and she's she's a lot of fun to work with. What year is Kristen? She's a sophomore. Wow, fifty years old. Wow, so. that is that's some talent. Yes, yes, and she works hard too. That helps. <laughs> well, I know a couple of years ago the Baylor girls won the mythical swimming world uh, high school championships. How would uh, this year's team compare? It's funny. Uh, I knew we could be good, but we had one. We we just had one of those meets where, from the very first race, we were kind of rolling, and uh, we actually scored significant about sixty more points at our state championship than uh, the national championship team did. Uh, this team is deeper for sure than than that team was. We go three, four deep in uh, of all American times in most of our races. Um, so this team, it's it's uh, n there wasn't as em much of an emphasis. You know, I thought that girls team a couple years ago could win it all. Uh, this year, we didn't talk anything about that. We just talked about you know, being a good team and maximizing things. And uh, they re they've really come around. So we'll see how it all plays out. I'm just you know we can't control what other folks do. We're I'm just pleased, tickled to death with what we've been able to accomplish. Hmm. 
Well, congratulations on the great meet, and tell the girls congratulations.